you know, the drum break still the majority of, uh, I guess, of the breaks on the road have drum breaks, but I know that this pads continues to increase, especially in the U S you know, I think, I don't know if it's maybe 25% now or whatever, but it continues to rise. So are you all seeing that? I mean, what are you, what are you seeing with, I guess, kind of in the U S transitioning from one to the other? Yes, we're seeing that. And I'd say you're pretty close with the 25%. That would be kind of what, uh, we're hearing as well. And we, we think that the transition will continue at about a rate of about 5% a year till you get up to 2030 is, you know, kind of range there. So um, as time goes on, the, the transition and progression to ADB will continue to come along. There'll be certain vocations that will stay with a cam or drum break. Uh, I believe, you know, due to some of the severe service, some of the weight rating, some of those things as we see that, but we certainly see and are prepared for the transition coming to ADB. That's one of the reasons that we've talked about uh, the investments that we've made in Prattville and getting Prattville uh, in a better position to service the North American market with locally sourced, locally produced uh, ADB pads of the copper-free version, as uh, Danny mentioned. You know, one of the things that's kind of interesting on our copper-free is about five years ago, we started making new formulations without copper. So we didn't just go look at current formulas and pull the copper out and try to find something to replace. We said, what if you can't use copper at all and started with new formulations? So, Got it. Got it. So what's the, what's the reason? So what's the reason why, why, what's the hesitation from switching from drum brakes to, to the disc pad? Is it, is it, is it cost? Is it the performance? Is it a little bit of both or, or is it, I guess maybe the maintenance, ease of maintenance? Yeah, I would say the, uh, the cost is one of the main drivers for, uh, you know, this, let's say the market is still trying to keep the drum brake. Uh, uh, and also there, all the maintenance, uh, 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 the, uh, the fleets, the mechanics, they are pretty familiar with the drum brake systems. They have been using drum brakes for a long time. So uh, there is a kind of uncertainty, some doubts to be more familiar with the ADB system. But... This is a trend. I think it's going to happen. It's a matter of time. Uh, the aftermarket, we're going to still see a lot of drum brakes for many years in the aftermarket. But on the production side, uh, uh, it's a matter of time for the ADB to start gaining more and more uh, uh, share uh, uh, with the OEs. Got it. So then what's the reason why someone is, why, why are you seeing customers switching to? What's the advantage of the disc, break, of the disc pad? So I, I think, uh, you know, improved, uh, a slight improvement in performance with, with today's reduced stopping distance uh, regulations in there. The, the advantage to ADBs is not quite what it was, uh, say, prior to RSD uh, requirements there. But again, improved safety, um, ease of maintenance, if you take a look at it, you know, you don't have to pull the whole wheel end in most cases to replace and reline. So some of our customers, as Danny mentioned, especially on the vocational side, heavy use uh, folks, you know, they can speed up their time for uh, relines and things of that nature. Obviously it's mm -hmm. a reline, but doing the brake job, it becomes a lot faster process there. And just as more and more technology comes onto the vehicles, and as Daniel mentioned, um, you know, we had the first wave of early adopters. Now some of those tracks back into the marketplaces, second, second vehicles there. So I think as the uh, industry acquires more and more experience with them, that they'll continue to see uh, a wave of that continuing in. And costs will most likely come down. Right now, it's, it's more the cost of the wheel end equipment than it is the brake itself, I think, is, is a big driver there. So it's a, a matter of scale and economies there as far as uh, getting the cost out of that for the end user customer. But, you know, as, as we indicated, I think the ease of maintenance over time and as fleets get more and more familiar with it, the transition will come uh, quickly. Got it. Okay. Now that makes, that makes perfect sense. So what are you, what are you predicting? How long is it going to take? I mean, obviously I know we don't know, but so what's your, what's your guesstimation? I mean, how long do you think it'll be before we even get to like 50%? You think it's going to take years, like 10 years, 15 years? You think it'll be quicker than that? Brian, we in our uh, uh, forecast, we we are pro uh, our projection is a five is a five percent increase year uh, over year. So uh, this is how we, we we build our numbers that every year ADB on the production side will have a five percent uh, increase. Um, and in parallel to that, we kind of 
try to talk to the uh, to to our contacts in the market to see if this trend uh, uh, it's okay with these numbers are a little bit you know uh, we need to adjust over the time but five percent is a very you know solid number year after year.